Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money. Today Friday, Bitcoin again going a bit down. So we have been having a small retracement. But today I want to show you guys something. A very long term Elliott Wave uh, kind of theory or uh, projection of what might happen that I have been analyzing. I just finished a very interesting debate on Facebook about shitcoins and i feel inspired to do this video today but without further delay let's go to screen share and let's start very very quickly with the price to time model let me zoom in so that you guys can see what's happening if the computer wants to zoom in okay so here we are we are still still delayed as compared to the 2017 cycle you guys know this already the yellow candle pattern i've been discussing uh, for a long time already. The 20 uh, period or 20 week SMA, uh, because the price to time model is measured in weeks, the 20 period SMA, the green line is coming down. So we are now swapping the prices of 20 weeks ago to the new ones. And of course, this makes the uh, moving average go down. And also the 200 period SMA is... Uh, not so much inclined to the upside already so it's not as steep as it was before so we are now also uh, leveling a bit on the 200 SMA uh, regarding the price action of this week so we are still in in the red candle and we are going up and down in between the the, the 30,000 30 something thousand but we are still away from the levels of 2017 of that big correction we had so we are still above that level and I am curious about what this will end up to be uh, on Sunday when the weekly close happens from Sunday to Monday of course Portuguese time this will happen at 1 a.m. of Monday and depending where you are in the world it will occur in different time uh, time zones so regarding the price of time model we are a bit delayed compared to that cycle uh, nothing to be afraid of I'm not really scared of this price action I believe that we are uh, due for a reversal of the price action soon so let's see what happens the RSI continues to point down so as I said before this is going away from the orange dashed line which represents the level of the RSI post 75% correction of the mid cycle 2013 but I'm not expecting a longer longer a very long time for this to continue so let's wait and see for better days but I guess they will come soon probably next month we will start to see a new rise in Bitcoin as many other traders also have said already so I'm expecting something uh, very similar to happen but this was the price of time model very quickly just take a look at the total so the total continues to be supported by the support context which is the gray box you guys see here just after a bullish signal appeared on the indicator so the pro indicators framework told me and plotted on the screen this blue triangle which means uh bull momentum so that's what's been happening for the last two days however today we had again a small retracement to the downside let's see how this closes and um today at least um so on the momentum here we continue to be on the really low levels so that's why i'm expecting soon a reversal of this momentum to the upside and this might happen when you see um, might happen in the next month for example in July or September maximum I guess it will be before September but we have to wait and see but you will see the last chart I want to show you guys and just a short uh, let's take a short look here at the weekly candle on the MRI strategy so as I said I would like this candle to close as a green hammer for now, this is still a red hammer, but the candle is extending to the downside and probably going to retest the 50 period SMA, the yellow line you guys see here. Let me just zoom in again so you guys can see it better. So I want this candle to close as a green hammer. So we would have to close a bit up here above the opening price of this candle. But if we continue to go down, probably the 50 period SMA will find support for this candle. 
So that's the weekly. I'm just going to quickly go to the four hours and check the BitMEX funding rate before we go finally to the last chart where I want to show you guys uh, the Elliott waves for the long term. Um, so let's see, the BitMEX funding rate continues to be negative. So we are exactly on top of my threshold, the green line down here, that is 0 0.06. So let's see, uh, this is the good uh, a good case for the bulls. However, the candles have been going to the downside. So let's see how this evolves. But I'm expecting to find support again on these levels where we were before and where we reverse the price action around here uh, on the 22nd of June. Uh, around uh, 1 p.m. Portuguese time, of course. So that's it. Um, the Dixie shows the dollar continues to reverse. No big deal over there. So gold is fighting to overcome that red trend line you guys see here. So gold is now stuck in between the white trend line and the red trend line. I'm expecting gold to overcome this red trend line. Uh, and probably this will be a one to four candle correction, but let's see how that evolves. And now jumping to the last one that I wanted to show you guys. So I'm just going to delete this a bit and this a bit. So I want to show you what I've been trying to understand here. So basically what I'm trying to understand is in Elliott wave theory, if this big, big, um, long term so this this chart goes from the peak of 2017 to the current price action and i want to try to understand where we might be headed in the medium or even longer um time frame so uh, longer term that's what i meant let's see what happens if i plot an Elliott wave here. So as my understanding and some other traders also said, the bull market started after we went really low on uh, the 14th of December, around the 14th of December of 2018. And since then, we have been having this trend line that I showed you guys before. Uh, where is that? It's here. So this is exactly the same chart, but with the bear, uh, the bear market, which started on the peak of 2017 and ended around the 2nd of April 2019. However, however, I consider that the bull market was already starting around here when this white trend line, I plotted this white trend line. And as you guys can see, since the, the really, really low level of the price action we had in December 2018, we never went below that price again. So I plotted this trend line here, which has been supporting the price just until before the exponential explosion of Bitcoin by the end of last year. So this was until uh, mid-October, first or second week of October 2020, when the price of Bitcoin started to go up exponentially to the upside. So my trend line actually starts at the really low price level of 2018 in December, and then continues up all the time so far, never been broken to the downside, except for this really exception. This is an exception because of the COVID announcement around March 2020 and that's what caused all the markets to go really really low before again a v-shape recovery to the upside and continuation on that trend line so in my opinion the bull market started around the lows of 2018 and it was confirmed as soon as we crossed the the bear market trend line the red trend line you see here around april 2019 so that period from uh, from December 2018 to April uh, of 2019 was a mix of bear market and starting the bull market already. And the confirmation happened exactly on this breakout of the trend line in April 2019 when we had the first big run up and we crossed that trend line to the upper side. So this is the confirmation. But for me, the bull market started in December 2018. Uh, and it was just confirmed a few months later, four months later, when we broke out this trend line here. 
finally broke out that trend line because I was expecting that for such a long time. So you guys know already all this to explain that this trend line has been for me the beginning of the bull trend of, of or the bull market started in late 2018 and has been going so far until now. So that's to explain why I decided to trace the yellow wave from that bottom and not this bottom because for me this is an exception to the rule. This is just because of the COVID news and the pandemic that uh, spread all over the world and all the FUD that affected the markets. So going back to this chart here, I just wanted to show you guys that my Elliott wave, if we start it exactly at the low here and we consider this the first wave of the, Elliot, of the five Elliott waves and we consider this wave two and we consider that, let me try to get the exact top wave three and if we consider the recent low of 28.8 k uh wave four which could actually come to the 20k level i would not mind that if we still have the wave five but for now the low we have is the 28.8 k and that is exactly on the same level as the fibonacci's i'm just going to plot on the chart for you guys to see so if this is the uh, wave four and we can expect a wave five i will leave wave five for now here but you guys will see that the level of the alert waves should be achieved using the Fibonacci levels. And that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm just going to choose my regular Fibonacci standard levels. And I'm going to make this Fibo retracement from the top of 2017 and level it with the bottom of 2018 in December. And you guys can see that the level that we are now if you if I continue this dashed line to the right side of the chart, you will see that we have been finding support for this retracement. And even when we were going up just after January for the first retracement after January, we found support on the 161.8 Fibonacci level. So that's really important because this is a very important Fibonacci level. And this is why we have been finding support not just here in january 2021 but also for now with this retracement we have been having since the all-time high so this is exactly the 161.8 fibonacci level and that's a very important level in the fibonacci retracements that's why we have been finding support around this area however i don't i don't uh, deny the possibility that we could still see new lows for this fourth wave of the Elliott wave theory and we could come lower to probably in my opinion the extreme extreme bottom that could be possible would be the 20k which is the all-time high of 2017 but if everything according to Elliott waves theory works we might still be in for a new leg up, which corresponds to the fifth Elliott wave. And you guys know already that according to Elliott wave theory, the first and fifth waves are the smallest ones. And the biggest, uh, the bigger one is the third wave, which started in March 2020 and went up until the all time high of April this year. So that is the bigger wave three of the Elliott waves theory. So, of course, if this is going to continue to the fifth wave, which is what Elliott Waves theory suggests, then we have to find a suitable price level to finish the fifth wave. And for that, we use the Fibonacci's. So if I'm going to trace the Fibonacci's again, as I had before on the screen, I could start exactly here, come down here to level it with the current uh, level of the last bottom, which was the 28.8K. So I just have to go a bit up. It's not exactly, I, it's not easy when you want to extend it to the right, but you guys can see that if we are going for a Fibonacci level, which corresponds, so we might finish the fifth wave around the 461.8 level Fibonacci, which would take us around the end of this year, probably the end of October, maybe November, 
probably December, because regarding the time when this happens, no one knows. That's guessing the future, and no trader or YouTuber or whomever you ask will tell you exactly the date when a, a, an Elliott wave uh, will finish. But at least we have a price level approximation on on where it could finish and for that we use the Fibonacci's and if we are going for the regular Fibonacci levels the 461.8 is one of them and I believe that if not going up to the 280k level that I was uh, talking before with the price to time model at least at least the Fibonacci levels indicate that we could have an extended wave 5 close to $200,000 so this is what the Fibonacci levels tell me and Elliott Wave's theory tell me if the fifth wave is exactly uh, as it should in the Elliott Wave theory, this is what could happen. I don't know if exactly November, as it says here, as I plotted in the chart or December, or it might even happen in January 2022, but at least the level would be very, very, very close to the $200,000. So that's what I wanted to show you guys today, because I know everyone has been so bearish lately. That's a good indication, by the way, when everyone is bearish, it's very, very close to have a price reversal to the upside. So I just wanted to give you guys this idea, this Elliott Waves, which is really subjective theory. However, uh, Elliott Waves theory Though subjective, many times it works because the waves of the market usually work this way. Corrective waves ABC, three waves down, uh, or if that's the trend is going up, of course the correction is down, so ABC would go down, and the trend usually has five waves being the third, the biggest one. So this is what might happen, and according to many models, we would be around two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars. So going to 200 is in fact a bit conservative using the Elliott Waves theory. So I just wanted to share this with you guys today. I hope everyone is not so bearish to the point of selling everything close to the bottom or close to the price reversal action. So let's see how this evolves. But at least you guys have this, uh, this long time frame picture of what might happen if Elliott Waves theory really works or not, but at least we have some indication that it might. So guys, that's it. Let me just stop the screen share. I just wanted to share this with you guys today. I hope everyone is fine, enjoying the day and trying to uh, at least do the best they can at the markets. So if you enjoy this content for today, gently touch the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new or even if you are not new but you haven't subscribed yet. And don't forget the notification bell, choose all so that you are always updated when I, when I upload a new video to the, to the channel. Also, don't forget to join the Telegram group. This was in this video all the time while I was sharing my screen, but you can go to a browser and write t.me slash fumoney and it will, it will show you a page where you are invited to join the group or you can use the Telegram app and search inside the app itself for FU Money. I'm sure you'll find the group there and we will be very happy to debate everything crypto with you guys on that group. So I hope to see you tomorrow. Don't forget tomorrow, Saturday, we have the live stream. Probably this will happen around 3 p.m. But if anything is different from that time, I will, of course, tweet and uh, tell everyone in the Telegram group that a different time will be chosen. So don't forget, tomorrow live stream, I would like to have all of you and all the new subscribers that joined the, the channel this week to be there tomorrow and we can interact with each other's live and you guys can ask your questions and I will do my best to answer every one of them. Okay, see you guys tomorrow and bye bye.